over eight. And I'm just a little confused. We've just saved the world, right? So why? Why am I crying? I don't know where this feeling inside of me is coming from. But I feel very sad. Just now, we used the power of two gnosis to successfully connect with the Ermin soul consciousness from 500 years ago. Then, we removed the remaining pollution from Ermin soul. Yeah, what's wrong? Weren't you there just now? Sound. Traveler, Paimon! I've been waiting here far too long, but finally I have the chance to be alone with you. All the precious time I wasted has finally paid off. The Doctor! What have you done? Just a type of sound wave that can quickly put defenseless people into a dream. As I expected. It doesn't have any effect on gods. This is the only thing of interest I found among the sages' research. I thought I'd take it for a little... spin. Don't worry. I know you would never forgive me if I actually killed them. I'm here to negotiate with you. Naturally, I won't do anything dangerous that could potentially damage our relationship. Negotiate with me? I heard you had already left Sumeru. Why are you here again now? I left Sumeru, but I also stayed in Sumeru. Even the God of Wisdom is restricted by the habits of cognition. How disappointing. You mean... there are many different versions of you in this world? An astute guess. Even the same individual will have different cognitions at different ages. A long time ago, I made a major decision in hopes of preserving all my perspectives of how I observed the world. Observation is the first step of any experiment, but observing the current world doesn't satisfy me. It lacks an important dimension, that of time. So I saved segments of all my ages and made them into independent individuals. That's all there is to it. Indulge me. How does the God of Wisdom find my method of seeking knowledge? It's an insult to the very concept of life. Life inherently has many rules and restrictions, each with its own significance and reason to exist. They can't be broken on a whim. <laughs> Good. Amazing, even. Indeed, it's difficult for humans to make peace with themselves, not to mention oneself from a different period. Since you're in the Academia, why wait until now to show up? You could very well have stopped us and helped that fake god. Simple. Let me ask you this. Would any staff member ever help the subject in the middle of an experiment? It was my experiment. So why should I interfere with the results? The Academia saw the plan to create a god as their ultimate goal. Yet you only saw it as an ordinary experiment. You... you really are crazy. If the experiment succeeded, you would have had a new god on your hands. How would you have faced your own god then? Would you still take the same stance? Would you still hold the same view of yourself? I'm first and foremost a scholar. These results should be left to the judgment of the hypothetical me confronted with that outcome. But you're right. And that's exactly why I'm disappointed with the conclusion of this experiment. As an individual, you don't have any sense of belonging. You seem to have even fewer convictions than a typical scholar. Oh no, I certainly have my own convictions. They just don't fit your standards, that's all. All right, that's enough conversation for today. 
the experiment is over and it's time to tidy up the equipment and reclaim any useful materials. For example, the Gnosis. <sighs> Lesser Lord Kusanali, you're an intelligent Archon. I'm sure you understand the disparity in our combat abilities at this time. Besides, you have no way to use that Electro-Gnosis in battle. Didn't you say you were here to negotiate with me? Somehow, it's starting to seem like you intend to take it by force now. <laughs> I'm merely stating a fact. After all, I'm also a scholar. Naturally, I hope to show proper respect and dignity to the God of Wisdom. Your hypocrisy is built on absolute confidence. I understand your scheme, but... What if I were to destroy the Gnosis now and awaken the Heavenly Principles? Awaken... the Heavenly Principles? Hmm... Do you think that's really possible? The Heavenly Principles have been silent for many years, but the Gnosis are symbols of their control over Tevat and all the laws. Will the destruction of a Gnosis attract the attention of the Heavenly Principles? And if so, how do the Fatui plan to deal with the consequences? Do you dare to gamble such a possibility with me? <laughs> gamble? How surprising. I thought you would show evidence or use rigorous reasoning to prove your point. The word Gamble is the last thing I expected to hear from the God of Wisdom. But this is a clever move. You must have seen through me when I first captured your consciousness. As a scholar, I respect all possibilities. This has always been my principle and is an essential trait as an experimenter. Indeed. I can't ignore this possibility. So tell me then, what are your conditions? This foreign Gnosis will only lead to disaster if it stays in Sumeru. But this Electro Gnosis is the prize I obtained after defeating one of your fellow Harbingers. Now, as the one who initiated this cascade of events, shouldn't you pay the corresponding price? Price? Interesting. What price would you have me pay? How about erasing all your other segments? <laughs> so this is how you wish to restrict me, the most threatening opponent of the Nation of Wisdom. What you request of me is like plucking out the eyes I have placed in the dimension of time. Segments are extraordinarily difficult to make. They require extremely rare resources and enormous amounts of time and effort, requiring me to destroy them all here and now. Bravo. A suitably wise decision on your part. Yes, how very interesting. Can I assume that you have long been wary of me? Among all the versions of me, this segment you see now is the most selfish. If it weren't me, your idea wouldn't have worked. What did you see when you were imprisoned? You were observing me, and that's how you know I've long grown tired of their doubts and endless arguments. Like you said, it's difficult to make peace with yourself. Being as smart as you are, have you managed to do that? Hmm. I see. If you think all those versions of me are worth a gnosis, then deal. You sure didn't hesitate much. Is the relationship between all the versions of you really that bad? I don't think there's any need to dwell on that. The surplus versions of me can be exchanged for a gnosis. Do you think anyone can offer themselves at a higher price? Besides, with my abilities, it's only a matter of time until I find better perspectives. Perhaps it's best to say, you're just temporarily ahead. But what I'd like to know is, 
How can you be sure that I've really erased them? I can see your remaining honesty. <laughs> what a ridiculous decision! Sheer you can't be serious! How could I have been you so short sighted? You think that this is the end? Wait, I'll have a revenge. You'll make Good this riddance. moment count. You, you will regret this. Well, have you confirmed that it's complete? Here, take it. The future of Sumeru City will be in my hands alone. I will shut down the Akasha and let curiosity and the thirst for knowledge drive the realm of academics once again. There won't be any further gaps for you to exploit. It truly pains me that my academic achievements have never been appreciated in my homeland. Of course, I have no interest in being rejected by this city for a third time. Another chess piece. And where is your dendronosis? Don't be greedy, Harbinger of Snezhnaya. No, this is a different transaction. If you intend to turn off the Akasha anyway, then there's no further use for the Gnosis of Sumeru, is there? Besides, isn't it the Archon's duty to deliver what's desired of the Seeker? Oh, judging from your expression, you don't seem to find the idea very agreeable. Then let's think of it this way. Since you're the god of wisdom, how about I exchange some knowledge with you? People exchanging knowledge with the god of wisdom is the stuff of legends. Yet here you wish to exchange knowledge for the god of wisdom's property. Arrogant as that is, it has piqued my interest. Let me ask you. Have you, in all your mighty knowledge, ever heard the rumor that the skies of Tevat are fake? Huh? That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world. Once I finish telling you about this, it will be time for me to say goodbye. With negotiations, We've all gotten what we wanted. I'm very glad I got to meet you like this. Your arrogance may know no bounds, and convictions may mean nothing to you. But I'll still listen to what you have to say. Okay, wake him up. Are you awake? Kali says it's time for breakfast. Come on, get up! Good morning! How are you feeling today? Good to hear. It looks like we've recovered pretty well. Not even Tainari could stop us from going out now, right? Traveler, let's go! 